You have no idea who he is. A snake is never violent when stalking their prey. It's only when they get right into striking distance that they become very violent. Folks, the Ice Queen has returned. Veronica Harrington. Okay, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Is Angela Robinson portraying a character named Renee in the upcoming Tyler Perry Netflix thriller, Meg Coppola, coming to Netflix on February, I believe it's the 23rd. Let me just say this, Tyler Perry, and I'll do a separate video on this, but I know next month is Black History Month, but I also dub it the month of Tyler Perry because so much is dropping between Netflix, BET+. It's just crazy how many projects are coming out that are either created or Tyler had some part in the project. We got Ruthless dropping for season 4B. Bruh season 4. Um, Make Coppola on Netflix. A new show called Perimeter at some point in the month of February. I forgot the day. And then that's not even counting the hit shows that are The Oval and Sisters airing on BET. Along with the Zatima season 2 episodes on Tuesday night. So that's like eight projects right there. And believe it or not, I feel like I'm still missing something. There's probably something that's either going to drop that I'm unaware of. I mean, and then of course, you know, he's filming the Medea movie. And then he's also filming the Joe movie. So that's like 10 flipping projects right there. The man is unstoppable. Jeez. Okay. But uh, yeah, this, this is a real quick video because... I woke up and then I saw that Tyler, because you know when Tyler Perry posts something, it, it's something big. And he dropped this trailer and I, I was thinking last night, yo, I got to get some rest. I went to bed early. I went to bed like at 1030. I said I had over 60 videos to edit and post. I'm almost done doing that. And I got to get all this done before sisters. I didn't even watch the oval yet. And I did this morning. And then I'm like, it's just so much drop and I don't know how I'm going to do it. Then this trailer drops. I'm like, Lord have mercy. And I knew Angela was going to be in this film because I, were, I knew that like three weeks ago via IMDb. But to actually get her in the trailer, giving a monologue as only Angela can, I'm just like, this just takes me back to the good old days. It does. Where Veronica would just give a speech, I am Veronica Harrington. It's just like, ah, she still got it. This is what I love to see, people. This is what I love to see. The haves and the have-nots is gone. But seeing Tyler Perry actors in other projects and still bringing what they got is amazing, and I love to see it. I know a lot of people want a continuation of the haves, but I'd much rather the talented actors from that show get placed in the proper projects to showcase their talents and still work with Tyler Perry. That's what I'm here for. I'm not really a thriller kind of watcher outside of Michael Jackson and Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, but I'm somewhat willing to give this movie a chance. The trailer looks good. It has a great cast. Um, If I remember correctly, Charles from the haves and the have nots on uh, Nick cigar and his brother, Sean, who portrayed Jordan on sisters before he got recasted. They're going to be in this movie too. So folks support it. Like I said, I might, cause like I said, this isn't my genre, but I might actually watch it just because I want to see Angela Robinson. Enough said. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, I don't really have much on her character outside of the name is Renee, not Veronica. But, oh my goodness. I, this, this just made my day. It truly did. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.